This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. I know I often say that these repairs are pretty easy. This one is not very easy. <laughs> this may take you a while, but it does work. We want to unplug the machine and take out these two Phillips head screws and take off this front panel. This is for the dryer that's just making a terrible squealing noise. We're going to remove these three screws here on the left hand side. And then we're going to remove the three screws on the right hand side so we can get this control panel off because we have to get to a couple of screws underneath it. We're going to be taking off the front panel of the dryer so we can get to the part in the back that's squealing called the rear bearing. So I'm lifting that panel off and then I'm going to disconnect it right here. That's the electrical connection. I'll remove these two screws from the bottom right and bottom left corner. And then there's a bunch of screws on the top I want to remove that are on the front of the uh, top panel on the top. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's six screws up there at the top on that front panel that are holding it on. And then once those are off, you can pull the panel towards you to remove it. But there is a um, plastic piece that'll be kind of caught underneath the tumbler. So it's flexible. So you just want to carefully pull that towards you and then the whole panel will come off. And then you can get the uh, tumbler off. First you want to reach in underneath, make sure it's unplugged, and you want to push the either wheel to the side so you can get the um, belt off of the motor pulley. And then we're going to remove some screws here in the back. Uh, prior to that though we'll remove some of the screws on the top because we actually want to get the top panel off too. It's held on by just a series of screws. Probably have to stand on something to get it off. We're going to remove these three screws and they're holding the our rear bearing on to this part, the spin basket or tumbler. So we get those three off, and now the belt's undone, we can actually grab this whole thing, this whole tumbler, and we can pull it out of the machine, and that's going to give you tons of room to work. And the rear bearing is actually attached to the back of the tumbler. We did uh, take out the screw so it's no longer attached. So we're going to grab the belt and just pull that out. And here's the rear bearing, this thing. And we're going to lift it out of its little socket that it's in. Sometimes it's really hard to get those out, but this time it just lifted right out. Here's the socket that it rests in. It's usually full of high temperature grease, but all that grease has evaporated and it's just making that terrible metal on metal sound. So we want to make sure everything gets cleaned up. And we're going to take a piece of tape we're going to reach in from the top and put it behind, directly behind where that uh, plastic cup is. And that's going to help to hold on a little metal piece. I actually climbed into the dryer to do that to get up high enough. So now I'm uh, taking out the old cup. And that piece of tape is holding on a piece of metal that these screws go into. So it's very important that you put that tape on before you remove this piece to hold that little piece of metal. We have our new kit here. Three zero, three two zero. I'm sorry, three two eight one one five three. And it's a really nice kit. It comes with this high temperature grease. We're gonna pour a bunch of it, squeeze a bunch of it like toothpaste, into this plastic cup. And that metal um, ball behind the uh, tumbler rests into this cup. So that lubrication, that grease, really helps to make it spin smoothly and it lasts a long time. And then the kit also comes with a new metal piece that holds that um, plastic piece against the back and a little BB. I added the BB behind that plastic piece and then I'm going to put this whole thing in position and then I'm going to tighten those two screws and get them nice and tight. And that's going to hold and support the weight of the tumbler or the spin basket. That ball piece is going to fit in there. Here's what the old ball looked like on the old rear bearing. It had a groove cut in it, which is weird. That must have been when it was uh, cutting in, into the metal because it was so worn out. So what we want to do 
is go ahead and add the um, this new rear bearing to the back of the tumbler and it comes with three new screws. You actually have to kind of push the screws in to get them to uh, start and then it's now attached to the back of the tumbler with the three screws and we're going to set that ball down into that socket so that it's holding up the back of the tumbler. We're going to get the belt in position kind of where it was and then you're going to reach down underneath and pull the idler wheel. You're going to rest the belt on top of the idler wheel and pull it to the side. It's under spring tension and then put it over the motor pulley and then you want to turn it a few times to make sure the belt's not going to slip off. So before you reassemble it, turn it a few times, make sure that it's really on there securely. Turn it a couple different directions. And so far uh, the repair is not too difficult. Putting the front panel on is a little challenging because you have to line up a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> and you want to just take your time, maybe get someone to help you do it too. I'm putting the top panel back on, putting, adding all those screws back in and tightening them up. <coughs> I gotta do that before I add the front panel back on. And I'm actually standing on a stool to get high enough up to be able to put these screws on because the machine's pretty tall. I'm gonna add this little black piece back to the top panel near the front. That's used to help kind of keep the uh, tumbler from moving forward. And now I'm ready to add the front panel back on. I'm going to slowly get it into position and then I'm going to try to get the uh, upper lip of that front panel to go above the top panel. And Then I'm going to add all those screws back in. That's the hard part. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.